This plate makes your life a breeze. So this was basically another 15 minute manicure, guys and gals. Hey everyone, it is Devin and Chris from the Maniology team. Say hi, Chris. Take your hand Hello. In. So for those of you who are wondering, today we have a new hand to show you. Um, this is one of our team members, Chris, and she has, look at these nail beds. They are amazing, aren't they? They look so good. These are her natural nails. How lucky is she? <laughs> um, Chris, why don't you tell us what you do at Maniology? I work on the um, shipping department. So Chris is the one who's helping to get all of your boxes and things out. So we're very thankful to have her on the team. Thank you. Um, today we are using some purple cuticle tapes to help protect Chris's nails. Now, for those of you who are wondering, today we're gonna be focusing on how to create the perfect French manicure using plate M052. So this is one of our probably our most popular stamping plate. Um, I definitely put it in the top three. I think my corker, yeah. I feel like mm. it's one of our most popular because French is such a classic look. Everybody uses French at one point in time. Um, French manicure is the number one most worn manicure in the world. All countries, everybody uses a good French. Um, there are so many different ways that you can use it as well, where you can do modern takes, but today we're gonna show you how you can create the classic French look in a short amount of time. So for those of you who've ever had to freehand French or use stencils and stuff like stickers to block out the nail and try to paint the French, you all know it is, for lack of better words, not a fun task. Um, it's always kind of tedious, it's always kind of difficult. Even as someone who studied nails and went to school for nails, French is nobody's favorite text. Do not like French. French is just notoriously difficult. Um, so this plate makes your life a breeze, whether you're a nail tech or just someone at home. This will make stamping French a million times easier. So. Let's get started. Um, I already painted a base coat on Chris and I am using the concealing base coat. So if you guys aren't familiar with that, that is great. It has a very sheer pink tint and I'm just going to paint it on this finger so you all can see. And it's very natural and it works on all skin tones because that's how it was formulated. It's very sheer so it just kind of gives a nice healthy pink glow and for those of you who maybe have experienced a little yellowing from maybe too much polish or whatever the case may be, staining from a dark color, then this base coat is amazing because it has a bluish tint which helps cancel out the yellow. So if you have any kind of staining from anything, this concealing base coat is going to be your best friend because of its like kind of bluish pink undertones. So. Now, while this nail dries, I already painted all the other nails. I just wanted you to be able to see what it looks like when I paint on her base coat um, because I know you guys didn't want to have to wait for all of that. We are going to get started and just do the French. So today, all you need is this plate, your favorite base coat, um, one color. I'm using white for our classic French. You can use black if you like. Also the absolute must-have monocle stamper. Specifically, if you're working with this plate, I highly recommend using the monocle stamper. Um, has to do with line warping. I think Tiana covered that in one of her lives recently. So if you wanna know more about that, check out her live. And yeah, you just need these items. So stamper, scraper, white polish, um, and this plate. Also, can't forget our smudge-free top coat. So this is it, that's all we need. And your base coat. Although some people, I know they skip the base coat, so you could even omit that if you don't have it. For Chris's nails today, we're gonna take a look at her free edge. So the free edge is this white grow out that you see here. Chris has very gorgeous nails and her free edge is a little bit thicker. She has nice long nails, so 
I'm gonna take a look at this and I think for Chris, this row will be perfect. I think these rows are a little bit too skinny. So I'm going to be using this fourth row from the top. And here we go. <sighs> Everyone wish me luck, send me good stamping vibes. I really need it right now. <laughs> and Chris, ready? Go ahead. So we are gonna start with the okay. other hand first, since that nail is still drying a little bit. And I'm gonna flip my plate around so that way we can get to it a little bit better. So if you notice on this plate, all the French are a little different lengths, a little different size. And part of that is so, when you are stamping, if your nail happens to be longer or wider, it'll be okay. So if you're looking at it and being like, how come it's spotty, don't worry about that. We'll get to that after. It's so easy to fix that. Let me kind of arrange myself so you guys can see a little better. And I'm just gonna move down the line since I don't wanna to have to keep cleaning every single time. The funny thing is, is that technically, you can use whatever size French you want. So if you wanted to use the thicker one, you technically could, and if you don't want it to show as much on the tip, then you just do um, a little less, and I'll show you what I mean, so let me. Let me try and clean this up. This side is a little dirty and I wanna use that pinky area. If you don't know what I'm using to wipe that, I was using the pineapple cotton grabber. For a technique like this, it's so perfect. So you can see I'm kind of moving a bit faster. So here, you see how technically this part right here, I didn't use all of that to stamp on her nail and it's okay. So if you want to use a thicker area like how I did, a thicker portion, you technically can and just move it up and down the nail to cover as much of the nail as you want. And if you wanted to do, for example, a rainbow French, you could just layer those colors. So for example, I'm only doing one line, but if you wanted to do a rainbow French, you could technically do multiple lines to get like a really cool gradient rainbow effect. Hold on. Let me try and use the other side of my cotton. So I'm going to use this wider section on her thumb. And if I'm not answering your questions right now, please forgive me. It's not that I'm trying to ignore you. I definitely don't mean to do that. I just try to keep time and check on everything, make sure that you guys are in camera and focus so you can see what I'm doing. Or sorry, make sure that I'm on camera <laughs> and in focus so you all can see what I'm doing. Voila. So you'll notice that there are these little gaps where the polish is, that's not a problem. You can always go back later and touch up. The whole issue though is trying to get that perfect clean line and that's where this plate is amazing. So Chris, we're gonna do the other hand okay. now. How are we doing on time? Five minutes has passed. Yay, very good. See, in five minutes I already did half a hand or one whole hand. So I'm just using my stamper to remove the excess stamp.
Also, if you did not know, when you make mistakes with this plate, it's okay because you can just re-stamp over that same area again. So if it didn't work out the first time, you have multiple chances because it's white over white, no one's even gonna be able to tell. So if you made a little mistake like how I did earlier, I'll show you how to correct that in a bit. Okay. And part of the reason we are using the monocle stamper is because there is less distortion with lines when you're using the monocle stamper. Part of the reason for that is because the stampers are all curved. They all have a curved surface like this. But for smaller stampers, the surface seems to be more curved. Um, for example, with the ice cube or the double-ended clear stampers, they have more curve on the stamper head and that can cause distortion when you are stamping straight lines. Um, even though this is not technically a perfectly straight line, when I stamped it onto the nail earlier, I noticed that there was more distortion of the French and that was not the look that we were going for. So that is the reason why I decided to switch over to my monocle because that's gonna cause less problems for me in the future. So you don't have to dirty every stamp like how I am right now. Um, it's just because I'm trying to rush so that way I can show you guys how quickly you can do this manicure. You can clean it and use a more appropriate fitting stamper or um, design for your nail. But in my case, I'm trying to hurry so you guys can see how awesome this plate really is, especially once you get used to it. Or in case you know, you're know you just in a rush and you don't have time, but you really wanna get your nails done or I guess do your own nails. And you'll even notice that there's like these white little marks on the plate. That doesn't affect anything. That's just remaining polish and acetone, but it's not gonna affect my pickup. The only thing that kind of affects it is how long I wait. Okay, so we did 10 nails. Now you see there are tiny little gaps. It is up to you how you want to do this. You can re-stamp it, or you can go ahead and just take the polish and do this. So just gonna scrape off as much polish as I can, like that. And now for all those little areas that maybe it wasn't as perfect as I wanted, you can just go ahead and fill that in. Because you don't need to paint the whole thing. It's literally just these tiny spots. And part of that was my fault because I'm rushing. And the thing is, you can't even tell because it's white on white. So you're not gonna get Um, any weird streaks or marks or anything like that. So I'm just going in there and filling the gaps. If you want, you can double stamp it. But in this case, I don't want to double stamp um, some of these nails. Ten there, minutes past. There are going to be nails that I will show you that I will be double stamping because the curvature was a little bit off. But for the most part, I think it came out pretty good considering that we got this effect in 10 minutes.
Now if I had taken my time a little bit more, I think we would have had a little less gaps. But in a crunch, I think this came out really, really well. Mm -hmm. So let me show you what I meant by the curvature is off. You see this nail here? It's slightly curved more that way than it is on the other side. So in this situation, I can go ahead and go and stamp over it with the exact same design to fix that curvature. And if I had more time, I would probably just double stamp on those designs that I felt like there were a few little gaps. So there, we kind of fixed it and now that side is also more curved. For the most part, it looks great. I think maybe there's a little bit here that I want to fix. Very good, yay. It looks pretty. pretty good. Yeah, you like it, Chris? Yeah, I love it. Have you ever had French manicure before? No, I have not. Have this you ever first. gotten your nails done before? I did once, professionally. Did you do something fun and exciting, like a fun color? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> a simple nude color. That's always a classic. Mm -hmm. So. Now let's go for the big reveal. I'm going to have you move this hand out of the way, Chris. And we're just going to go ahead and remove her cuticle tape. Perfect. Flawless. That is the look that we want. Okay. Let me make sure. Voila. And it full on looks like it got professionally done. And I know everyone has had an experience where they went in expecting something, especially when it comes to French. If you've gone someplace and it expected a certain thing and maybe you got something else that you weren't expecting. So I will be very honest with you. This is better than French that I could freehand. And I have an extensive background in nails but French is just not my specialty. And it's okay, because we have a stamp for it, so. Just removing these last bits, and then after this, we're gonna top coat it. You guys can see the final product. Sometimes I feel like this is the hardest part because the sticky bits get all stuck to my nails. Chris does have a beautiful nail shape. <laughs> Nanette said that she's envious of your nails, Chris. Oh, thank you. You shaped them, so they're even prettier. Thank you. Um, I'm also envious of Chris's nails. She has really nice, large nail beds and also very strong nails, I noticed. Her nails Thank don't you. feel um, very brittle. Let's give Chris some cuticle oil and then we are going to also top coat her. I'm so sorry, Tiana, do you have some cuticle oil? Perfect. Tiana to the rescue. So most times they apply, if you like go to a nail salon, they'll apply cuticle oil before, or 
sorry, after they do your services. But I want to apply cuticle oil before, especially because I'm just applying top coat. So I want to give her nails and hands a little bit of time to absorb all of that before I take photos because of course after this live we're going to take some photos. We got to show off this gorgeous French. Oh, seems like we hit our 15 minute time frame. So I had told Chris earlier to please put kind of an alarm on just so that way I knew about how long this was taking. This has been 15 minutes um, of me doing her nails. And if I didn't do the cuticle oil part, which if you're really on the go, you could just like do that while you're getting ready to leave or on the way in the car or wherever it is. And I just focused on doing her top coat. I think she would have been completely done in 15 minutes. But I wanted to make sure that I also put a little oil and let it, her nails um, absorb that while I apply her smudge free top. So this was basically another 15 minute manicure guys and gals. So Chris, do you plan on wearing this? Yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> it's really pretty, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for being our model. You really are the ideal model for this look. Thank you, anytime. Yep. Yay. And look at her gorgeous French in 15 minutes salon worthy yes. it really really is you know it's perfect for work or any kind of family functions or things like that where maybe you have to wear something a little bit more classic or simple this is a great manicure for that so make sure you guys check out this plate because I promise you you are gonna love it and we've done other lives talking about how to use this plate and other ways that you can use it besides just the classic French because there are other fun things that you can do with this plate besides just the plain white um, like crisscross French layered French rainbow French like the list goes on so again check out M052 and that's it for today everyone I'm just gonna scroll through just to see if there's any questions that we missed for longer nails okay I know someone asked these look great for short nails how does it work for longer nails okay for longer nails you would literally just layer the stamp because if it's the same color no one's gonna be able to see the demarcation line of you layering it like more and higher or for example you could just stamp this line for like right here and even though my nail still needs to be covered I could take a white polish and then go ahead and cover that because the whole issue I think for most people is that they cannot get the straight line um, across the nail to look even so once you create a line whether it's this big this big or this big if you still have extra hangover it's okay just go in with that same color polish and just paint the tip um, because again it's more about getting this right you can always cover it up with that same color and no one's even gonna know that you know you had to do that or that your nail is extra long and you know you might need it um, to have a little bit more so yeah I think that pretty much answers most of the questions again thank you so much for tuning into our live and we hope you guys have an amazing day talk to you later wave bye Chris bye <laughs> bye everyone